Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. We're in a deep, amazing conversation with Yuri. Oh yeah, she's so she's so deep and, and personal. Those stories challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. Mm. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Remember when we were all talking about a cookie like two minutes ago? <laughs> Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they made out to be the knave one for letting their one-sitted morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid! Hey, don't apologize, I haven't lost interest or anything. Well... I've lost interest. I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I ended up saying something strong gay. <laughs> and please stop me if I start talking too much. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. At least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Uh, that's... well, that's true. <laughs> In fact, I might as well get started reading it right! You don't have to. Why is he way into this one, but not into the Natsuki book? Why is she sweating? <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you were looking forward to it. Hmm. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book, and I had put, <laughs> that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? Don't mind the potato- Oh shit, I dropped a bunch of potatoes. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a potato. <laughs> I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah! Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Oh. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. Friend, er, that's... I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, it's okay. It's not that I don't want you to. Oh, well, okay. It's just something I'm not very used to. Yeah. You smell <laughs> fucking terrible. <laughs> the, the reading company with someone. Is it the potatoes? I see. Well, just let me know if I end up distracting you or anything. I'm gonna be over here banging pots. Yeah, yeah, and <laughs> rolling potatoes down the classroom floor. <laughs> uh, alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading and company. It's as if I could feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. <laughs> I got you presents! <laughs> it's not a present. <laughs> wow! <laughs> presents! I needed this, a curing cold. It's not a particularly <laughs> bad thing, maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. She's stripping. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. Don't I was my, just- Don't look at my fucking book. Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? Sorry. <laughs> I do? Yes. Stop. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... Ha ha ha! Idiot! <laughs> Here, this should work, right? <laughs> Smack her in the face. No! <laughs> that should work! <laughs> I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Oh... I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Oh, that's second base. It feels <laughs> <laughs> feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. And then she spins the dial. Left, uh, left foot green. <laughs> uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yes. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Uh... I do the same with my right <laughs> arm on the right side of the book. Oh that way God. I turn a page and Yuri slides under her thumb after it flips to her side. Third base. But in holding it like this, we're all to leave it closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. Ah! <laughs> it's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face just in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? <laughs> ah! To turn the page? Yeah, sorry! On this relationship? I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I could do, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> we continue reading. <laughs> <laughs> You're no longer asking if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assumed that she finished the page before me, so I started on my own volition. We continue the first page for friends. The, the turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently let it go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side. And she catches it on her home thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You you think so? How does she? 
Well, I, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all the things that she says it does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see it in your head or anything, but they're kind of represented in your mannerisms. I see. <sighs> Meanwhile, back over here, I guess. <laughs> The fuck, man? Yuri remains silent for a moment. But friend Aaron, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Ugh, it's so embarrassing that you think that. Well, wait, I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I'm not self- you think I'm you think I'm self-conscious? God damn it! <laughs> well, I, I guess I meant that it's kind of cute. <laughs> uh, what are you saying all of a sudden? <laughs> okay, everyone. Stop being so pussy romantic. <laughs> I detect emotion. <laughs> I think it's about time we share someone's today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah! Your Yuri exhales, spra spared from finishing her thought. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Ah! Uh. Is that is that all right, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not. It's fine. You already released her hand from the book, causing it close to the top of my thumb. Ow! <laughs> Fucking idiot! Alright, I guess I'll do some <laughs> more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's... Good reasoning. <laughs> Very sound. <laughs> in that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. All right. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off of the book. Slip it back into my bag. Eat a potato or two. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember how many. Oh my god. All right. Show your poem to Yuri first. We're on a roll with her. Okay. Remember me? <laughs> Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Friend Aaron. No. How did you pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. I won a Poet Laureate award. <laughs> In the meantime, Yuri visibly swallows. Mm. Even her hands appear sweaty. Sweat, sweat, sweat. <laughs> that's gross. <laughs> I'm not used to this. Used to what? Oh, uh, sweaty palms! It's fine, take your time. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. Yeah. Just being appreciated like this, I guess. Probably sounds really stupid. I'm really stupid, but seeing someone motivated by my writing... It just makes me... Really happy! Are you saying that you never said with your head anyone before?! Yuri nods. <laughs> <laughs> really?! I don't believe it. I really only write for myself. And besides, people would just laugh at me. <laughs> you really think that? <laughs> Dumb broad. Again, Yuri nods. Huh. Even your close friends? How do these girls have friends? I don't know. I wonder why. Oh, sorry, I didn't read any of that. Anyway, <laughs> do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah. I do. If it's with you. <gasps> <clears throat> the raccoon. Oh, holy Jesus fuck. Christ. The raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty fuck. Snack. I don't know why I read that as fuck. Okay. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. It was because I looked at other words while I was reading it and it mm. like combined. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My subconscious, well aware of the consequences. He'd be dead by the morning. <laughs> well aware that a raccoon is fed, that his fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. Mm. The bread, my hungry curiosity. The raccoon, an urge. Oh my god. The moon increments its phase and reflects that as much more light. God damn it. Reflects that much more light off my cutting knife. Oh god, I'm so hot. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm really projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. Oh, newly satisfied animal. All right, stop. <laughs> the raccoon has taken to following me. 
You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread, and I feed myself again. Whoa! That was a good poem. So am I the knife or the yeah. raccoon? Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. That's a lot more metaphorical. This one has full frontal raccoon nudity. <laughs> I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. You get what it's about, right? <laughs> Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what's supposed to fucking mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more... unusual hobbies. <laughs> I kill people. It's those sort of things that I'm usually forced to keep to myself. <laughs> so sometimes I enjoy writing about them. You like feeding raccoons? Me too! Why do you keep them to yourself? Be- Because... They're embarrassing. And people would make fun of me. Not like you, you potato-eating monstrosity. Do Nobody you makes fun of my potatoes! Do you have anything like that, friend Aaron? Well... Yeah, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The potato thing. The- Yes, the best we can do is respect each other and our individualities. Like how I eat potatoes. Yeah, some of some people like them julienne, some people like them fried. Even if it's difficult sometimes, and some things make us uncomfortable. I, I just like them raw. <sighs> Makes me uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I'd probably hate myself. I don't hate myself. I might be ranting a little bit now. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. But I'm glad that you're a good listener. What'd you say? We have so much in common. <laughs> Alright, who's next next time on Game Grumps? Oh my god. We'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. Alright, we'll choose next time on Game Grumps. We'll choose, we'll choose, we'll choose. La 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 la.